we can turn 16 inches, and um, we like to say it's about the size of a basketball. Your horizontal machine centers are the same thing, about that size. They're, they're uh, 40 taper machines, 16 inch pallets on the horizontals, and we're in a small town atmosphere, and we like to bring a lot of quality up front. Hi, I'm Greg Childs from Rochester Precision Machine in Rochester, Minnesota. We are a CNC production job shop. We do turning, milling, and production broaching. We're also ISO certified. Our main function at RPM is to machine parts. We do uh, parts for uh, a lot of the big OEMs. We have production saws. Uh, most of our product that, is, that has to be sawed, we do that in-house. However, we can do production sawing um, if we have to. We've had people come in with just hand drawings. There's some parts here I can show you that, are, that started out that way. Uh, in this day and age, though, we always like to have a CAD file. That's the best thing to do. Quality is number one. Um, that's a given. You have to have quality. This particular part here is run on a live tool turning center. Um, prior to having the live tool in-house, we used to have to run this an operation on the turn, and then we'd have to put it over on the mill and do this hole. Uh, with live tool turning, we're able to do the turn on one end, flip it, it does the back side of this, and it'll also drill that hole, and it'll circular interpolate around here for the chamfer, rotate, and do the same on this side. This way we're getting the part complete in one operation on live tool turning. This particular part here started out as a prototype part um, that we ran uh, and it used to be made out of billet aluminum. It's now cast and um, we still have uh, some pretty intricate machine work being done here. This is all done on a horizontal on a rotating table and um, these are all helical cut angles that are very critical. Actually a shift speed of what this thing does and when it goes into the final assembly for a snowmobile. So this is some of the stuff uh, that the machinery we got, you have to be very careful at location on this and also it does a very good job on finish. As you can see, there can't be any kind of bumps or anything in here. This has to be smooth. The smoother this is, the smoother the snowmobile accelerate. This particular part here is actually a valve uh, block setup and it starts out a solid piece of 6061 T6. And um, what this part here is, is machined on every surface. And this here, there's some ports down on the bottom of this that have to be very smooth, so they're roller burnished. But this is a very expensive part when you get done. You can see there's passageways, uh, and every port lines up with another passage on this side, O-ring seal. So this is, a, this is a good part for our horizontal machine centers. And uh, it turns out real nice when you get done with it. This part here is actually uh, iron casting. Uh, iron is um, not real fun to machine, but our shop is able to take cast iron and machine it, and we have some machines that are just set up just for iron. Uh, this casting is supplied by the casting house right directly to our shop, um, and the company that uh, owns the casting has us uh, machine out all their dimensioning on this. Uh, this part is a gearbox, and uh, it goes um, into a production part um, with some cross shafts and whatnot, so it's very important to have these all line up when you get done and the bearing bores all have to be round and to size. This particular piece here was uh, powder coated and then machined and you can tell by the color that it's uh, for a large company. So if you have a project and you need some help on it from the outside, uh, we're a shop that can help you with that. We can adjust uh, to a lot of your different volumes and we're also able to turn that around relatively quickly. And we're in a small town atmosphere and we like to bring a lot of quality up front. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com.